Okay, let's look at our alternating rhythm assignment here. Um, first of all, let me show you an example of um, what you're going to be creating. So I'm going to give you an empty 4x4 four four grid, and you are going to place um, a motif into the grid, creating an alternating rhythm. Um, and so to do that, I want you to uh, follow along with the process here. Now I'm going to start doing it here in a second, but this will walk you through the process here. Okay, so you can follow this step by step. Now, the first thing you do is you're going to look for, it could be any picture, you're going to take just a small square from that picture. And to do that on your Chromebook, if you use, look at number four here, use control shift and this key right here, it's a little rectangle followed by two lines, that'll allow you to um, choose a small part of your screen as a screenshot, okay? Now it's really important that this is a perfect square, okay? So um, looking ahead here, so if we look here, we can see that it is um, a little four by four grid. I've already taken one square here, right? This is my screenshot, I made a little perfect square. And so what we're gonna do now again is make um, an alternating rhythm. So um, once you have it fit into one square of the grid, uh, select it. And again, if you remember in the arrange, if you go to rotate, we can um, flip horizontally, right? So um, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste first, and then I'm gonna place it in the next box. And then now is when I will choose the arrange, rotate, flip horizontally. And you can see now we have a mirror image, right? A mirror image. Now we could just go ahead and do the next one. Now the next one is gonna look just like the first one. So if you just hit paste again, you've already copied it and you already have it um, copied. So we can just paste and put the new one in. And then you can see it's now a mirror image to the second one. And then again, the fourth one is gonna look like the second one. So we can go back to the second one, we can copy and we can just paste that one. And then this one will fit into the fourth box like this. All right, so there's our first row. Now, what's nice is that the first row is gonna look like the third row and the second row is gonna look like the fourth row. Now the second row needs to look upside down compared to the first one. So if we wanted to, so we remember we copied and we pasted the, the, the second and the fourth one. So let's redo that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the box below the fourth one. And then I'm gonna go to arrange and rotate, but this time I'm gonna say flip vertically. And now I've made a mirror image of it going in this direction, okay? So now this row is gonna look upside down compared to the first, okay? So now I'm going to copy and paste that one. And what I can do is I can put it here and then flip it, or I can just go ahead and put it all the way over here because I know that's where it's gonna end up being. And then I can paste another one, put that one here, and then go to arrange, flip horizontally, boom. And you can see I'm starting to create that alternating rhythm by having the motif flip when it goes to each box, okay? So that's really important that the first few steps here, number three and number four, um, you need to make a perfect square from what you choose, okay? You need to make a perfect square from what you choose so then it can fit inside these grid squares, okay? All right, so follow these directions here, please, carefully, um, and then go ahead and turn in your final product.